Welcome to Excel in a minute. In this video, we're going to show you the Excel functions you can use for data analysis. Number 1, the if function. The if function allows you to compare a result and an expected value. It returns true if the condition is found true. Otherwise, it returns false. For example, we have this formula to compare the student's grade with the passing rate of 80%. As seen in the results, the students with the average grade below 80 got the remark study more. Number 2, the average if function. The average if returns the average of the selected cells in a range if it meets the supplied criteria. Like in this list of players' scores, the formula only returns the average of the players who scored over 100 points. Thus, we have the average score of 56.25. Number 3, the COUNTIF function. The COUNTIF function can count the number of cells found in a dataset that fits the supplied criteria. As an example, let's count the number of sales made that are over $100. Thus, our formula should be. And the result is there are a total of 6 items sold that were over $100. Number 4, the SORT function. The sort function can sort an array by its row or column number in ascending or descending order. For example, let's sort these students by their test scores. Thus, we have the formula. Where negative 1 indicates that the list should be in descending order. Number 5, the filter function. The filter function allows you to filter a range based on a true or false array. For example, Let's filter out the grades of the students who took the Python course. Thus, our formula should be Where C3 to D9 is the range to be filtered, B3, B9 is the range to be compared against cell G2, and the custom message if there's no record found. And that's it for today. Check out the individual lessons for these functions to learn more about its features. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.